as a black man, a black photographer, a black creator in 2020, it is important that I make this video. It is important that we have this conversation. It is important to continue this dialogue. Tune in. What is the deal, beautiful people? My name is Ramon, welcome to my channel. Here we talk about photography, any and everything photography, all day, every day. Today's topic is my experiences as a black man, as a black photographer in America. And I would love to share that with you guys because I've always, it's it's my channel, it's my perspective and, and I know based on everything that's going on, a lot of people have reached out and they've asked for my perspective on things. So here it is. Uh, the the honest to God truth about being a, a black man in America also holds true to being a black photographer or a black creative or a black professional. You know, the, the parallels are all the same. You know, I, I have to work I have to work twice as hard as my non-black counterparts uh, to be included in the conversation. And that can be an annoyance, um, but it, it is it is what it is. And there's some very real realities for me that if, if you're not a black person, the, these things may not have even crossed your mind. I mean, simple things like when out and about doing street work, I need to conduct myself very different than uh, my my non-black counterparts and and i mean it's down it's on a granular level to uh you know we used to roll around with groups of two or three or four or five instagrammers instagrammers right because instagrammers and photographers are different and we would we would roll around getting street bangers i had to behave very different than them right they can hop over fences jump on private properties um they can wait for someone to walk out a door and to, to run in real quick to get to the roof to get a specific shot I can't do these things there's no physical reason I can't do these things there's no technical reason as to my gear or whatever I can't do these things there are theoretical repercussions why I can't do these things you know I have to think about what does it look like when someone calls the cops for someone trespassing? You know, my non-white counterpart gets to, I'm sorry, my non-black counterpart gets to explain himself or herself. Hey, no, look, look, see the picture? I'm, I was just out here trying to get this banger. Here's a picture I got on the roof. My bad officer, I'm out of here. You got it, I'm out. I don't get to have that conversation. There's a very real chance that I will be met with wild amounts of force when the authorities show up. I need to be cognizant of that, right? There are things like when reaching out to models uh, on Instagram to, to shoot, I have to worry about how I say things and, and I have to go an extra mile to make non-black models feel comfortable about our interactions and then that intensifies when we meet in person right i have to make the i have to go out of my way to make people feel comfortable and i i get it as a photographer you have to do that but there's this extra layer of tension that that i have to tippy toe around and i have to become very comfortable in in, in knowing how to navigate uh there there was a very real thing for me on youtube uh, when I first started out this channel and even the bigger channel lifestyles defined, if you guys don't know, you should check that brand out. That's our bigger brand. We do all things, technology and, and tech over there, uh, sneakers and all that stuff's over there. So that's where we originally started out. Um, there were, there are experiments where we would put, and, and I've done it on this channel as well. If I'm talking about a camera the thumbnail would be the camera, right? And people would click 
and I'd look at the analytics of the video, people were out of there within the first 10 seconds. I hardly said a word. All they saw was me. And then there were there was experiments where I would put my face on the on the in the thumbnail and they would stick around for those videos. Coming to the reasoning for that was not an easy one for me. People just didn't trust what I was saying because they saw a face they didn't like. They saw a skin color that's like, eh, I'm out of here. But if I put my face in the thumbnail, they know what they're getting into. You know, these are the people who I don't have to worry about. There is no knee jerk reaction. They don't have a thing about listening to a, a black person explain something to them. So they click the video and they stuck around. That's a very real thing for me in, in my craft and in my my creative endeavors. And I, I, I look at these things and it, it's just so heartbreaking to come to that conclusion after months of looking at analytics and just be like, well, why, why is this? How is this? And then of course, there are the wildest comments you can imagine that I've had to read through over, I think it's about 10 years now doing, I've been doing YouTube for 10 years, me and the squad. I can't tell you the comments that we've had to read. And these are the type of things where it needs to, you have to be grounded as a person and not, not let someone draw you into their meaningless world. Because you know these people would never say things to you, say things like this to you in front of your face. And it's just like you read these comments and you just you just have to develop a thick skin. But my non-black counterparts don't have to do that. You know what I mean? Like it's it's kind of like, OK, cool. So so being being a being a a black photographer, a black creative in today's climate, uh, definitely requires effort um it is definitely not something easy to do on top of the fact that what i'm doing anyway photography uh being a creative throwing my thoughts my voice and my perspective out there for the world to see and critique these things are not easy on their on their own and then i have this extra layer to deal with uh yeah, that's that's the reality of it. And that's where we are in this world. And and I hope it won't always be this like the video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because YouTube tells me, speaking of analytics, that a lot of you guys who watch the videos and you watch them all the way through, you're not subscribed to the channel. So subscribe so that when I make a video live, you get in on that right away. You'll also find the links to my Instagram and my portfolio down below. Drop me a message. Let's further the conversation. Hit the comment section. I'm curious to, to see what you guys have to think on my perspective and the realities of what it is for me. Before I leave you, let's be clear. It's not all doom and gloom. This conversation is not one I care to have, but it is my responsibility to have it because of everything that's going on today. Uh, the social unrest, the Black Lives Matter, the police brutality, um, <laughs> the political stance of our country in America. Um, but there are some very authentic and amazing and beautiful non-black people and counterparts that are very close to me who do not in any way contribute to to this conversation in a negative way i should say uh they have been very supportive of me uh they have given me tools i needed to to move forward and improve and and i i quite enjoy that i've met some very beautiful people around the way and and uh, i've continued to to not only meet these type of people but be encouraged by these type of people and have these people reciprocate wildly amounts of positive energy um but the reality is it's a very uncomfortable place for me to be in it's a very uncomfortable reality to exist in it's a very uncomfortable conversation to talk about but 
I uh, for for those of you who look like me and who are in this situation, you also need to take some time to celebrate the beautiful part of it because it will bring the balance that needs to be to be had. Thank you for checking out the video. My name is Ramon. I'm out of here. Peace. Wow.